Now, it is a good thing that there is so much room up on this stage because the next two guys have some seriously big personalities. James and his little brother, Moses, are truly a dynamic duo. Over the past year, they have developed the kind of bond we all hope to share with someone. But words cannot do these two justice, so I might as well just bring them out. Without any further ado, let's give a warm welcome to our third match, James and Moses. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Moses, and I'm proud to present my big brother, James. Thank you, Moses. You look awesome tonight. So true. <laughs> Moses and I kid around about a lot of things, but I think I've learned more from him than he has from me. And one of those things is not taking myself so seriously. I'm always happy to teach James. Oh. I'm always happy to teach James things like how to be super cool. But the truth is, James is more than a big brother to me. He's also a teammate. Like when we played football together during the Gridiron Games. That was awesome. I even scored a touchdown. Well, it's like I told you, Moses. Work hard, and you can be anything you want to be, including an NFL player. But we'll get to that in a minute. Do you remember the first time we met? I sure do. I remember telling my mom how excited I was. I'm growing up without my dad, so I'm happy big brothers, big sisters put you in my life. Even though James is not my dad, he is a man I can look up to. James also tells me a lot about his mom and how much she means to him. Our moms take good care of us. We have that in common. Hi, Hi mom. mom. Our social worker also takes great care of us. She knew Moses so well and could gauge right off the bat that matching him with me would be a perfect fit. You know, I'm so thankful for all the mentors I've had in my life that I developed a strong desire to give back to those who haven't been as lucky. That's where my journey with Moses began, but I'm in awe at how far it's actually taken me. Moses has not only changed my worldview, he's also profoundly changed my life. I'm truly grateful to have the opportunity to help mold the life of such a great kid. Yeah, what we have is pretty special. I know I can talk to James about anything. I can be honest with him about what's going on, on with me, and that's awesome. We, are, we really are brothers. Of all our memories, meeting tonight's honoree, Darrell Revis, is one of the best. James and I met with Darrell at the Jets Training Center in New Jersey. Yeah, and we couldn't believe we were meeting with the best cornerback in the NFL. But he's not only inspiring on the field, he's also a role model for young people off the field. Although he grew up in a tough urban area and could have taken a different path, he chose not to. Instead, he was a good student and a committed athlete. Today, he still reaches back and has a positive impact on, on his hometown and beyond. Through his work with the Jets Foundation and, and involvement with inner city youth programs. Yeah, Darrell talked with us about his own mentors who taught him discipline, focus, and passion for the game. I'm so proud to be presenting this sports award to Darrell with my big brother James tonight. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen our, our friend, friend Darrell Rivas. Wow, um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> uh, just want to say a couple words. Um, I want to thank the big brothers and big sisters uh, for honoring me for this award um, and for this experience tonight. It's, it's unbelievable, it's great. Um, I'm just happy to be here um, to put a smile on Moses' face. And also I want to commend James and all the other bigs uh, for taking time you know, out of their busy lives to put it in somebody else's life to make sure uh, they're doing the right thing as, as a person. And um, another thing I just want to share with you guys is, you know, I, I never, uh, you know, I didn't have a dad, uh, you know, growing up in a household. So um, I had to use other resources to make me successful. You know, I came from a tough, uh, you know, tough hometown, uh, very bad, um, and I chose the right way. And I think those people who I looked up to helped me. You know, one was my mother you know, raising uh, three kids. And, um, you know, I was, the oldest, I was the oldest brother, you know, and I had to be a role model to my little brother and sister. So, um, 
even though, you know, we walk this life in this world, um, you know, some of you people out there are, are older brothers and older sisters, and I think you just always got to set an example uh, because you never know who's watching. And um, that's how I always looked at it. And, um, you know, me, me being a big brother, you, you have to learn some things, but um, after a while, having talk, a thousand talks with my mother <laughs> sitting me down telling me my little brother and, uh, and, and uh, little sister is looking up to you, it, it made me grow up a little bit faster and, and, and seeing the things that I was doing in my life to try to change them and uh, be the right person for them and also for myself. So, uh, like I said, again, thanks, uh, big brothers and big sisters, and I also thank Moses and James uh, for inviting me tonight, and uh, thank you guys.